It was fantastic. I mean, you know, I've, I've been around for a long time, I've heard a lot of crowds, but that was as good as any. It was, I've, I've heard it before, but usually it's been against me when I've turned up with Wolves or Sunderland or somebody else. So it was fabulous. Uh, and look, I hope we can we can improve on that and you start winning games and giving them something really to shout about. You know, a team that, what I would say, they've had a real committed team and anything I know about Cardiff fans, they're not going to tolerate anybody who doesn't run around and work hard. And so they got all of that and probably can add a bit of quality to it so they can enjoy it more. And first of all, it was awesome to play with uh, with people in the stadium, with the crowd. It's, uh, it's a totally different game. This is. Uh, one thing. The other thing is uh, to play the first uh, game away in Cardiff. Um, it's a hard one, very physical, and uh, so um, I guess we deserved uh, this one point. And it's a, a great, a great experience um, uh, to have uh, a game like this, um, ending with one point. And again, I guess we deserved this point. The majority of us are disappointed because you take a lead in the game and you expect to see that out. But you know. On the, overall, um, you know, in terms of the magnitude of the game and, you know, the build-up and um, I suppose without being negative, it, it, it's nice not to get beat and um, and to get the first point on the board. But, um, yeah, really, really intense game, really competitive and it just typifies the championship, I think. Again, uh, the first most important thing was today um, to compete against a physically very, very strong team. So um, our goal was it um, to be really present here and I guess we, we did this so um, we had a couple sequences uh, um, where I, I think we are going in the right direction but there's still a lot to do and uh, uh, that's that's normal so um, again it's always important even to start with a point that you can go on with a certain idea and um, the lads did a, a really good job today and I'm really glad for them to to, to make this point. In all fairness with Barnsley um, you know probably without overthinking it you They've had a fantastic. They had a fantastic season last year. Obviously, lost the manager and a few players, and you probably we weren't questioning. But I think the question was, can they continue where they left off last year? And um, you know, they were really good again. I felt um, if anything, they played a little bit more football than last year, but also continued with that um, intense press and um, competitive nature that they had last year. So um, yeah, really tough game. I think it's it's always hard when you're playing. Um, like for like in terms of formation um, and with it being that first game you, I don't think you want to lose either so probably a little bit of nerves and um, that excited feeling in the bellies that most of us haven't had for, for a long while I think we've, we've had the better chances and we've had a goal this allowed they've had a goal this allowed you know I said uh, Dill made a great save in the first half uh, We've had two headers that have gone straight in the keeper's hands. We've had two across the line. Leo's been in twice and just didn't get onto it right. So I think we had the best of it. Um, so there's disappointment because I think we were managing the game well up until those not putting the press on properly, not doing it in court. Uh, so yes, there's disappointment. But I said there's a lot to be happy with. And as I just said to the you know, radio station there, you can't knock them for effort, endeavour, work rates, you know, playing for the shirt because they all did, they all scrapped it down. It's quite a sh I, obviously, I knew we were doing something, but yeah, it was um, quite a tough start, actually. I felt myself, um, you know, choking up and getting a bit of a lump in my throat. Um, and I know Rousey was, um, you know, I had to put my arm around Rousey a bit because obviously we, I'm not, I'm, I didn't play with Wits, but I played against him and um, absolute fantastic player, one of the best I think that the championship have ever seen, and probably you know Cardiff have ever seen. So really, really brilliant tribute, not just to Wits, but to to all those unfortunate Cardiff fans that have, you know lost their life due to due to COVID. So I think you know just on touching that, that was a kind of it gave me a little bit, and it didn't give me a sense, but I, I felt oh, do you know what? this is a game for them, you know. So I'd like to dedicate my goal to all those you know people that. The family members that have lost, the Cardiff City fans that have lost, you know, a loved one during these tough times. Yes, it was an emotional day because of the, the tribute that we had to all the people, and the fans who have been lost throughout this pandemic. And of course, a real tribute to Peter Whittingham as well and his family, who I know he's a great player, I tried to sign him, but uh, I'm told he was such a wonderful guy and a wonderful human being as well. So 
yes, it was emotional. Having the fans back in was great. Sadly, we couldn't uh, we couldn't turn it into a win. You know, I thought we'd done particularly well in the game for the main part. It won't be a it won't be a tougher game, that's for sure, physically from that one. Uh, and you know what? It was two of those teams that were having a right go at it. So um, yeah, it's, it's a point. Don't get beaten if you can't win.